What's up everybody? We're both Honest Open Permaculture Hot Farm. We are back at the chicken composting system. Let's do a little bit of work. It's gonna be different. First off, I'd just like to say, if this is the first time you're clicking on one of my videos, thank you very much. I am Bill. This is Honest Open Permaculture Hop Farm. We are a small homestead in North Carolina, looking to be as self-sufficient as we can be, and we're just working our way towards there. Right now, we are at our compost system. This is like our 11th video in this system, so if you missed the first one, I have a playlist. You can go down on that in the description and check all those out. It is a windy day, so I apologize if it's hard to hear. Let's get into the coop. I bet you can hear me in here a little bit better. Can you see me though? No, you can't see me. <laughs> oh, there, yeah, there I am. Cool. Okay, let's show you what the coop's looking like. Looking pretty good. I've got a bunch of material in here now. It's, it's starting to cool down quite a bit. It's starting to actually act like winter. So I'm gonna be heating this compost back up and starting another pile right in the middle there to try to keep them warmer overnight. Because when it gets down in the teens, it can be pretty cold. I know the chickens can withstand it. But if I can just make it a little bit easier on them, heck, why not, right? And make some compost at the same time. We got one girl that likes to lay eggs over there. And then I think she's one of the girls that likes to lay eggs in her dust box. Take a bath and lay eggs at the same time, huh? Poop slide's working pretty good back there. You see it's running right down. There's not really anything sticking besides the really wet stuff, then it dries up. And Keeps going, so poop slide's working well. Thanks for the recommendations on that, y'all. As you can tell, I still have the top of this open, so it's still venting. What I think I'm gonna do for next month when it gets really, really cold, I may put some straw up there just to go ahead and block it off, stop the airflow as much, and keep some of the heat in here that we're making from the compost. Just a little barrier. So out here in bay two, this compost is looking really, really, really good. It's breaking down quicker than actually bay three did. So it's time to get this out of bay two, both corners. Out of bay two, and we'll be putting it in bay three. Why is this gonna be different, this video? Because now we're taking bay three stuff, and we're making a big pile of it right outside, and we'll call that bay four. We're gonna cover it with that canvas over there so the chickens aren't messing with it anymore and pooping on it. And we'll let it sit there for a little while and decompose and let the worms get to it. So we've got a good amount of work in front of us. Let's get to it. All right, so let's open this up. So these girls are gonna get a good amount of free range today. So we can scoop this compost out of here easier because it'd probably be pretty hard trying to throw every scoop over that fence and let's just make it easier. Let these girls have some free range time. And Big Blue too, I'm sure he'll enjoy it. Look, here's what we moved out of bay two into bay three, which the girls are having a fantastic lunch on. Big Blue over there protecting his flock.
All right, let's show you what this big, beautiful pile looks like. It's from, this is 11 weeks. All right, y'all, we are done. It is definitely a big pile of compost. Look at this thing. It's about three and a half foot tall, probably about eight foot wide. We just need to cover it up so the chickens don't keep pooping on it. And then we'll just let it sit to the end of winter, beginning of spring, and then we'll use it in the gardens. Well, I'm sure we'll keep adding to this pile too. Whatever's coming out next is gonna be going in this pile. This pile is gonna be humongous by the time spring comes. Let's cover it. If you're wondering what I'm using to cover it with, this is an old canvas I found in the woods that used to be a, a big umbrella canvas. Instead of throwing it away, I'll use it to cover compost. Fits it pretty well, actually. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, please make sure you smash that thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't already. Our shirt link will be down in the description. See you later, guys. Oh and enjoy five minutes of Compost Condo Chicken TV. Later.